It's. I mean, it's. It, when anything's grueling like that, for you, you play for a twelve-hour session, it's it's rewarding just to actually reach the finish line. I mean, in terms of like my overall goals, it's it's a small piece, but like I'm 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 super satisfied and happy to be here. Like uh, in general, I'm just trying to get as many of these. I'm trying to play as many of these big tournament, not big buy-ins necessarily, just big numbers of players and I feel like that's where my speciality is. And So it means a lot, the more the more wins the better, so you know, it means, and uh, a friend of mine had a bit of a swap, so it means a lot to fucking him as well, he's, he's going to be real happy, cheeky. I was in, probably felt in control for like 95% of it, I would say, there was a point where I was getting quite, I mean to begin with I was quite short and then I went down to like 2.5 million but you, as long as you don't panic it's fine like uh, you get to the 11 big blind mark and you have to start moving in a ton but like I can, I'm still happy to limp against uh, a casual player a lot on the button so I was, I felt like I was in control for the majority. Yeah. Well my family didn't get most of the stream, they don't, they don't manage to stay up till they're, they're real people, you know, they actually, they, they do real stuff and uh, they have a real life so they can't stay up and watch me DJ. Uh, but, yeah, they, it's, it means a decent amount to me because they have a small piece as well. My, my brother, and my mum and my dad, they have a piece each, so, you know, I've, I've made them a bit of cash so far in this investment plan, but this is a nice, nice win for them as well. Like I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Um, in terms of friends, you know, I I know everyone. I I consider almost everyone a friend. So like, shout out to everyone, really. In, in general, I think people undervalue their short stacks. But that that hand I described on Poker News in particular, I mean, it was it was critical because I only had I registered with 15 big blinds and. It was a nine. It was seven and a half big blind river decision when I only had nine big blinds, so it was pretty important. Um, in general, I think uh, people are really eager to punt it off with like twelve big blinds. So you just, uh, in terms of this tournament, it helped a bit, but a lot of it was cruise control. I had chips a lot of the way, and then I just went on a rush with a couple tables left and. Honestly, for, for most of the final table, it was reasonably smooth sailing until we got to three-handed, and then we have to start, you know, back and forth. And then, but the short stack, you know, it always applies. But this tournament, I would say, not not so much. But yeah, I'm glad I folded with that hand on day two.